this hangout. It's live. 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 Excellent. This is uh, episode number 61. <laughs> Smooth. That was very, very good. <laughs> I claim to be a lot of things. Smooth has never been one of them. <laughs> just, just so we're all aware. I have sussed that out. Yes. That's good. As Graceless, clumsy, awkward, all those things, yes. Smooth, no. Never. I have actually been accused of being able to articulate myself well, <laughs> which I find very strange. Uh, I think that's true. I would agree like, with that. Oh, it's, you know, you, you, you say, it's, it's a lovely idea of you, 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 you can say pretty mean things to people in a very nice way or when it's things that might they you find a way to say share a problem in a way that's not overly offensive which i try you're, you're really good at backhanded compliments yeah it, that, <laughs> yeah i don't i don't really like i don't invest in that whole positive reinforcement thing too much that's i've gathered that not my thing so much Going through forty six issues of The Walking Dead, I've I've, I've gathered that yes. a little bit. Wow, little bit. that many, huh? Yeah, we've done 40, 46 issues wow. now. We go figure. Yeah, and we have like at least a hundred to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're going to keep coming, so it's it's kind of uh... <laughs> we'll be a hundred behind perpetually. <laughs> And hamster wheel, the walking dead hamster wheel, zombie hamster wheel. Um, but today we're talking walking, which is kind of awesome. Yep. And who's not dead? Who's not dead? <laughs> Yet. Yet. So, as of this recording. <laughs> so. Christopher Walken movies. Yep. He is awesome. And it was in my many hours of show prep to, to come mm -hmm. up with that. I uncovered a couple little treasures some things i had either forgotten he was in okay or so it's pretty cool stuff okay all right so you can start with your number three i sure will okay uh and i have a fun trivia fact on this one so it Big. is sleepy hollow oh you son of a monkey <laughs> knight would you like me to pick another <laughs> <laughs> I did not think we'd have much over. If we were going to have overlap, it was going to be this one. Yeah. Oh, I no, I love anything Sleepy Hollow. Ever since I was a kid with the Walt Disney uh, cartoon, mm -hmm. it, that's I think uh, next to the Jungle Book, that is my favorite uh, Walt Disney thing ever. And um, and so when that came out, I was like thrilled. And I love Walken and those teeth. He's got the best teeth in that movie. That's right. It doesn't so say a word. What, I'll, I'll give you that one. If you want to talk a little more about it, I can give you that one. Can I got a, I got a, if you've got no, a backup, I got a backup. Okay. I've got a backup and I will okay. go with, I will go with Caesar. Okay. Well, well, well no? let's, finish, let's finish talking about this one. Let's just, cause right. we already kind of started. So, okay. So okay. then I guess you went first. <laughs> Is that what we're <laughs> Accidentally. So, um, so jeans, why do you like, like Christopher walking in sleepy hollow? I'm well, not familiar. I mean, that that's the whole thing, too, is that, I mean, what does everybody love about Christopher Walken? It's that sort of cadence in his voice, and he's got that extremely sort of unique and singular accent that nobody else has. And yet, Sleepy Hollow is one of my favorite movies of his, um, and he, he doesn't talk. He just says, <laughs> <"Kr> <laughs> <laughs> <Not> it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got so. those amazing teeth and the hair. I love the hair. So, yeah, um, was, so you had a... Too. You had a trivia uh, bit you said about yes, this? Yes, I do. Um, are you familiar with the 1975 movie Valley Forge, made for TV? I'm going to go with no. Okay. Probably most people <laughs> don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, a, a, a Featured in a small part, a very young Christopher Walken. Okay. Awesome. Was a Hessen. Oh, cool. So, so this has been his thing. Is that once every 25, 30, 40 years, <laughs> he plays a Hessen. Uh, but, uh, so the this is the more just George Washington Valley Forge story where there were Hessens involved in a right. young Christopher Walken before he died and got pointy teeth. 
was was in there so very cool i i love um i i i love his whole like he he's really sort of he, he he does tend to play more dark characters he doesn't often play um really upbeat sort of guys he tends to kind of lean towards the you know sort of otter darker cats you know uh yeah and uh, uh and hmm. yeah we'll see we'll see there's a couple i think i mean most of mine are pretty dark here but uh, my no they're all dark <laughs> you're right <laughs> well and i mean you know as i was going through you know in imdb and looking at everything he's done and his his body of work is is amazing and outstanding and insane he's you know one of those actors that's just got so many movies um but uh a lot of it is sort of dark and peculiar you know sort of odd cats there he he plays some really fun characters and and this was just another one that you know in a dark little corner not not i think probably his most well known but definitely an interesting little blip on his radar cool i would agree so, so let's I... go with your number 3 <laughs> my, my number 3 <laughs> uh is uh and i feel strongly about this as my number three okay. <laughs> uh, i will go with mouse hunt okay where he played caesar the exterminator who eats rat feces <laughs> so which you know there you go what more i don't think that's like his official description in imdb but <laughs> but uh, as he's tracking and finds droppings he does a taste test which is a moment to say but I just again quirky, dark, and if you you know, you kind of assume someone who takes a profession of extermination isn't uh, bubbly, and it's just kind of you know, so I liked it. So I always thought that was kind of a just a really fun introduction in a movie that wasn't particularly fun in my opinion. But <laughs> Christopher right. Walken, that was a nice little moment. So I picked okay. Mouse Hunt as my third. Excellent. Uh, I have Max Shrek in Batman Returns. It's okay. You can have that one. <laughs> oh no, really? No, you do. I got I got that in reserve, so we're good. Okay. <laughs> um, I I love his hair in that. He's got amazing hair. Just he's crazily quaffed, um, and uh, but he's dressed impeccably, and you know you gotta you gotta love him for creating Catwoman. I thank him. That was nice. <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough exit for Max in that movie. That was a bit on the rough side. Yeah, yeah, but definitely, I think I, one of the more fun movies that he's been in. Um, and uh, um, yeah, I know I liked it. I like that character. He's not somebody I'd ever want to work for. I felt I felt like I'd work for him actually, but you know, hey. <laughs> We'll we'll just let that sleeping dog lie. Yeah, I think perhaps <laughs> wait wait to let go. Good job. <laughs> bitter, bitter, bitter. Well, speaking of someone you would not like to work for, mm. how about Hatcher from the Rundown? So I the Rundown. oh oh, Rundown. I remember that movie. Yeah, he's again a uh, guy in charge. Here it's yeah. more of an opal mine or something versus. The, the Gotham Empire that Max Shrek ran, but uh, he's the man in charge. He's not being too kind to the locals. He's getting his stuff. And uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Sean. Sean. What's Sean's last name? That guy. Sean <laughs> Taylor. I don't can't remember. I can't believe I'm, I'm blanking. Can't well, remember. I don't think that's right. Stifler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh well. Anyway, Sean Aston. No. No, not nope. Sean Aston. No, that's a Hobbit. Nope, not a Hobbit. Uh, anyway, Sean, good buddy, Sean. Uh, it. Uh, Sean Williams Rock. Scott. Yes, that's Sean. Yes. <laughs> I mean, okay, Sean Williams Scott. We got it. Yeah. Sorted. Jeez. Done. Um, uh, but uh, love that. Mo I don't know. Did you have you seen the rundown? I have actually, and one of the reasons that um, I, I I was thinking about that one earlier today. Um, when I was looking at my list, the reason that I remember the movie is because of the scene where uh, The Rock and Sean are drugged. Yes. With the monkey. Mm -hmm. That's good a good stuff. scene. That's um, a great but scene. also because I remember 
laughing at things that were probably not supposed to be very funny that were coming from Christopher Walken because of his cadence, because of the way that he talks. Um, it's just, he sounds often like he's doing a parody of himself. And the only other person that I know that does that, um, that, that I know of is, uh, is William Shatner. That when they really get into their, you know, when, when they really get passionate about things, they sound like they're doing parodies of themselves. And, and that was one movie that was, that was really there for me. And I, I remember him saying very threatening things and just trying not to crack up. Yeah. Yeah. Cause even, even at the end when he uh, gets a the gun shot out of his hand, but I think that one was intended for comedic effect. It was just, to, it's, a, it's just good. It's a fun character. He's a bad guy, but he's a charming, he's a charming bad guy, sort mm-hmm. of a little bit. Definitely yes. a little bit on the entertaining side, not a good guy, but, uh, and I just, I think it, you know, it's a cotton candy movie. There's really like no valuable calories. None of your minimum daily requirements are going to be met <laughs> with the rundown, Right. but it's, it's a couple hours of enjoyable fun. Agreed. So I guess that so puts you, me at my number one, huh? Okay, so my number one is not a movie. You, you everyone uh, cheats on this. You know, I, I'm, it is, it is come up with three, you come up with three, and people are showing up with seven, and these kinds of things. And then, and then I was told movies, and your number one is not even a movie. It's so not a movie. That's not cool. Is it like an x ray? No, know? no, no, no. It is actually Fat Boy Slim Weapon of Choice okay. video. Um, because Christopher Walken dances all the way through it. So if you have not seen Fat Boy Slim's Weapon of Choice, which of course quotes that line from Dune, um, if you walk by that rhythm, you won't attract the worm. Um, so it's another little geeky thing in there. But uh, he he's in a in a hotel. And he dances his way through the lobby and like in and out of elevators and down escalators. And he's awesome. He's on tables, tap dancing. It's amazing. Like, even if you don't like the song, you would enjoy watching Christopher Walken dance. It's fantastic. And it's like my favorite thing that he's ever done ever, which is why I had to just forego the fact that it's not a movie. I just had to, I had to, had to have it in my list. Strikes me as violation, but it is really awesome. <laughs> Have you seen it? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I am a big, big fan of it as well, and it's and so I, I like, I like the song. I mm-hmm. think the song's all right. Me too. Uh, and then, but then you do this overlay on top of it, and it goes from a song that I think's okay to just that. I'd watch that every day because it's just. <laughs> I know. It's right? Very, it's very, very cool. Um, yeah. It's awesome. so, and very uh, kind of unexpected too, because in his history he does have dance background. Mm-hmm. But even as the video start or the yeah the video starts, um, you don't uh, you don't know what you're in for. But then, <laughs> yeah, not expected that he gets up and starts doing like jazz hand type dancing. I know, right? It, yeah, and, and there's I, a lot of jazz hands in this, <laughs> in this number. <laughs> He well, and I I remember that like his I think his mother was a dance instructor, so he learned to dance when he was younger. And um, I hadn't realized how many movies he had actually danced his way through until somebody started sharing this video on Facebook, and it's uh it's just a bunch of clips of him dancing in like every single movie he's ever been in, whether it's just a couple of steps and you know and a little snap or something. But he's there's a there's a little bit of dancing in everything he does. It's sort of fantastic. Um. So yeah. Your Good. number one. Which I had a huge degree of confidence <laughs> would not be on your list. Tremendously <laughs> high. Number one, ripped off, did not get an Academy Award nomination, which Uh-oh. is still beyond me, but Balls of Fury. The theory. <laughs> balls of Fury. <'cause laughs> Christopher it's Walken. My backup. As Fang, <laughs> evil hair. ping pong overlord. The hair. So again, yeah, I, yeah, because I was you were you had a theme going there with the hair. I thought, I oh crap, I might I might have miscalculated here. But uh, the uh, the ping pong duel towards the end 
Uh, you know, you often, you know, folks often we have talked about, I think at some point in the past, you know, the sword fight in Princess Bride has been yes. one of the best. It's a distant second to this ping pong battle. <laughs> <laughs> Again, another really um, useless movie. Uh, but candy, yeah, I, just candy, and it's 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 fun. But um, I guess a bit of an acquired taste. There are some that are, are less impressed. But there are just so many moments in the movie I like, and then Christopher Walken as Bang is a sight to behold. And I guess I, he does a little bit of dancing there too. He does a little bit of dancing in everything. I I hadn't realized, you know, I mean, you've seen him in so many things and and it it just slips right by. You don't even notice it half the time. He just sort of works it in there. But yeah. Yeah. Love, love, love the hair, you know, which they, which they kind of stole off of, um, off of Dracula, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes. Um, Which, which I just thought was fantastic. Yeah, a fairly interesting matchup of Bram Stoker's Dracula in Oriental themed robes as a ping pong overlord. Uh, <laughs> he just looked like some yeah. crazy, like LSD driven pimp. It was this <laughs> is the weirdest character ever. I loved it. Yep. Pretty fantastic, though. Absolutely. That was on your backup list, huh? I'm that was on my backup list for the hair. No, because the Hessian has pretty crazy hair, and then um, Shrek has pretty crazy hair, and then yeah, Fang has has that insane wig. It's awesome stuff. So, did you have anything else on your on your list that was uh, not? I had a couple other places to 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 go uh, if needed, but. Uh, you know, and it's, I was wondering whether the deer hunter, which, you know, kind of is like a serious, strong performance and would have made either of our lists. Not me, because I had to have Balls of Fury on my list. But <laughs> deer hunter, Balls of Fury, you know, but right. uh, obviously any conversation of Mr. Walken's work, that was a, a pretty good moment for him, so. Yeah. I had the other one I had on the on the list was uh, Stepford Wives. Um, oh, okay. Mike Wellington, and it's not that he's in a lot of that, but I thought I would mention it because uh, it's a bit of a departure from sort of the odd cats that he usually plays. He's supposed to be kind of, I don't know, sort of suave in that he is. Uh, he's. Um, He's like the the leader of the boys club and they all look up to him and he's just, you know, he's very well coiffed and dressed and, and uh, sort of, I don't know, sort of debonair in a way. And, and you just don't see him do that very often. So I just thought I would throw that in there. It's, it's fun. Another hair reference. Lots of hair <laughs> references. <laughs> He's got great hair. He can do a lot of things. Apparently, I had I didn't appreciate the the, the <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't give it its due. My apologies. <laughs> now you know. It's awesome. That's what we're here for, folks. <laughs> That's right. To point out the less obvious the quirks of things. I'm quirky, so I point out quirks. What can I say? There you go. And I think that does it for our walk-in list. There you go. Um, I think YouTube comments are open on these videos. So if you have a different recommendation, a fun place to tack it on might be in the YouTube comments with a like and a subscribe to Gene's channel as well. Uh, it's not required to comment, but always welcome. And you can hit us up on the Twitterverse as well. Say hello. Yes, say hi. That'd be nice scary place there from time to time <laughs> oh it's fun besides you can you can you can see kelly and i banter goofily back and forth we do a lot of that okay anyway thanks for joining us thanks everybody 